Just got another um, comment. It's one I get often. It said, it said, pro tip, clean up your workspace before videoing. So, what I am is, I sell game parts on eBay and Etsy. So, I'm doing orders. The minute I get up, usually it's until I'm going to sleep. And then when I have time, I... Um, then when I have time after that, I'll, I'll do I'll play around with some different projects or whatever. So this, my room is five years of at-home college learning about gaming systems. So anyone, including this guy, who thinks that I can keep a clean room and do what I do for the volume is crazy. Um, again, I'm not staging a, a spot to, to, um, to video stuff. I just, I just show stuff as I'm working but yeah so this is this is my room I call it my little time machine I got that at GameStop right there so there's not a spot in here that has doesn't have any gaming I got went around and got about every gaming system ever made I'm still working on it uh, just so I could learn about them again I put about five years into it uh, just learning on my own doing my own but the thing is you, you gotta have space you wanna sell gaming parts you gotta put stuff everywhere <laughs> And if, I mean, if you look on my eBay, I think I have around 20,000 parts sold, uh, maybe more. So it's like any other salvage yard. You got to have the system somewhere to pull apart to ship it. So, and this is just in my room. You should see the rest of the house. So, you know, I'm not a pro. The guy gave me a pro tip. I'll never be a pro. I'm not trying to be a pro or of anything. I'm just a guy selling gaming parts on my own, one man shop, and then just kind of learning. So, once like I said, once in a while I get one of these comments about not being clean. I tell you, there's just, I mean, again, you are, if you want to be successful or at least, you know, survive, you got to sacrifice things. And this is it. <laughs> this is my room. You know, this is where I sleep right up there. That's my bed. I've got tons of stuff underneath there. Again, there's not a space where there's not something gaming related. Um, again... I have about three or four other rooms that are just full with gaming stuff. Again, it's taken me about four years, five years to learn about everything. I'm still... So this is my workspace here. Right now it's still cluttered. But I usually in the mornings I'll take... I'm, I'll, I was doing a project with Atari stuff. So later on I'll put all that away. Clean up my workspace a little bit the best I can. Oh, I found these yesterday too. Oh, these are cool. Everdrive. Yeah, I've been looking for them. All my All these things I get on Etsy. So if you go, um, Etsy's got the best stuff for homemade stuff or anything like that. So yeah, I found those. I was looking for those. So I'll clean up the space, and this is where I do everything. The amount of volume that goes through this little area is pretty amazing. But yeah, so this, again, this is my room. It's going to be the way it's going to be. People order things. I kind of know where everything is. I got stuff upstairs. I got a basement full downstairs. I got some other places to put stuff. I just, again... Just a one-man shop, so I can do it all myself. Packing, shipping, everything that's required to sell one piece of gaming part. And up there, I got an old digital up there. I actually, I just added this little shelf here, which you would know that it actually gives me a little bit more space. So I maximize any any space I can possibly find. And again, I have some a lot of uh, so there's some cool game systems in there. Um, those are. Yeah, so I kind of try to collect them, uh, and then again, I just, that's what I do all day. The minute I get up, I get up about 5 o'clock in the morning, and then I go until about 4, doing gaming parts, and then I'll do other little projects. Um, so yeah, that's my little, um, my little fishbowl here. So yeah, anybody that's, you know, doesn't like the way it's clean, eh, I can't help that. <laughs> it's not, it's not the process if you, if you want to do stuff. In, in mass volume on your own you've got to you know you just got to um again like so i got see i got a rack right here so i got some a ton of you know original xbox there so i got stuff over there that's just in the hallway you can see down you know again it's just random i have that which is fully working and then i have original xbox over there so there's a part so like i said if i sell something i just come over here and say oh i need that part um, power supplies, I got tons of power supplies, PS3s, the fats, the, uh, the super slims, slims, yeah, these are the slims and super slims, those are the, um, RVL 201 
uh, those are empty. I sold all the motherboards off of those. So again, it's just as orders come in, you you pack them and you ship them, and you, you gotta find stuff. So then I this is my over here is my house still. Everything like I said, I do everything in my house. So uh, basically home based. So I sold this power supply here. This is a, an A or A B or E PS3. So there's my orders right here. I got them all packed up. I got a bunch of them. Sundays I normally will watch football and do some other fun stuff. So I got about 30 orders to pack and ship today. All these I gotta do all these are all these are all orders that came in over the weekend. You normally I'll do them at each day in the morning. Like I got this here. This is a um this, this is oh this is just a I sell these all the time. PS2 Slim Disc Door. So, let's clean that up. So, that's, so I get all my orders I got. A whole bunch of them. I take Sundays off. So, it'll take me all day now to go to get all my orders caught up by by 4. You know, and then I'll go mail out for everything. So, that's my packing and shipping area. So, I got my tape. Right, all I need is some tape, some paper, and a lot of stuff. I need to sell this shit. It's uh, Xbox... X1787 power supply. Good there. I I just added this flash drive to my to my Blink system, which it works awesome. I've seen like dogs go by at night time and cats and stuff. It's pretty cool. It just, it'll automatically do a little clip when you um when when there's motion. So I go to bed at five o'clock at night and my mother goes to bed. So we all this whole house goes to sleep early. So if I can check my phone to see if there was any video clips of um on my blink camera and i've i've seen a couple dogs go by and stuff cats yeah i just got that that's the that's the for the blink system it's 64 gigabytes i think these things are awesome though i got two floods out there and the flood out by my carport and i got one by the window but yeah so like i said anybody watching this not gonna be clean it's not gonna happen uh, if you want to do what i do on your own, you're gonna, it's gonna look like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you want to learn about stuff, do stuff. Again, I go from uh, yesterday. I was doing Atari uh, 600XL and 1200XL. Just I had gotten some systems. I, I first time I looked at them, so I was doing those yesterday while I was watching football. The Patriots actually won, which was kind of cool. Again, you know they got stacks of things everywhere. I mean, I actually, I cleaned up this. This is a uh, TRS84P right here. I, I gotta finish that. So I got a million projects I could do, things that are not finished, games. I got more games, and I don't sell games normally, only because it's just a pain. So I just kind of have them. Eventually, I will start selling them. But you know, I, mean, I just have Xbox games. Again, a lot of old, older. I, mean, I went out and found some old vintage games that I, that I grew up on. Like King's Quest and Space Quest and all that fun stuff. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I just found that yesterday. Space Quest. I got on 55, so if you know what I'm talking about. These these were amazing back then. They were so much fun. So I picked up some of those things. Again, you know, I got a 3D printer. I have a really big one. I haven't gotten to that at all yet. I want to print out some small stuff, but... But when it comes to 3D printing, you gotta you got to draw it out. Which I can draw, but I just... I just haven't gotten into it yet. So that's pretty much it. So that's my room. It's never going to be clean. You're looking at it. Um, you know, there's stuff everywhere. Again, if you want to... Uh, like I said, I need to be a pro. I use a pro tip. I was like, I don't know. I gave him a reality tip that this is how it is. <laughs> if you want to do what I do. You know what I mean? And again, I just do all the videos for fun. I have to work anyway, so I might as well throw some videos up. You can kind of watch, see what I'm doing. Maybe learn something. You know, it's basically all I'm out. I'm not, I'm not staging a uh, YouTube, you know, epic video or anything like that. I'm, I'm just, you know, working, basically. I uh, Just being able to, I made a, a little area here where I have uh, this little digital camera. It's my, that's my, that's my camera system right there. So it shoots in there. I want to do some live videos. If not, I have to use this little flippy floppy thing here. And this is how I hold my phone, the one I'm actually using right this second. So this is how I video in there. That's that's the uh, the extent of my 
technical stuff here. Because <laughs> you know, a, lot, a lot of my videos, the thing flips up. When I get up, I, I hit my head on it. Again, I can just basically just sit there and I can't really move. So whatever I'm doing, I have to do right there. You know what I mean? So we got some 78 motherboards over there. There's a switch. So I ran them easy. Over there, is, those are uh, 360Es. Um, 1538s over there. I got 1540. Um, I got to put that up today. A front panel. Xbox One. Again, it's, I have everything at random. I could go from <clears throat> Atari to, to Xbox One X in, you know, five seconds. Up here, I got some... Um, different games up there I gotta go through those yet oh over here's Coleco look at all my Coleco systems I haven't really done anything with Coleco yet the size of the power adapter on a Coleco is giant right here I think this is it yeah I think that's a Coleco one it's, it's one of those but they're really real big Saturns I got some Saturns over here the Black USA uh, PS3 Slims again everything is randomly here kind of know where it is oh odysseys oh that's what those are Th those games up there the odyssey games i got some of those uh motherboards somewhere yeah i just haven't gone through them i, I have a few of those odyssey motherboards oh they're over here this is an odyssey motherboard over here again i take everything apart i don't know. i'll sell shells if i can oh yeah this is the odyssey that's an odyssey motherboard so again you know like i said it's just random it comes with this and this thing here so that's what's what's inside of an Odyssey 2. Yeah, Magnavox Odyssey 2. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's it. So that's my space. It's just try to clean when I can. Uh, I reorganize again, then I got to put it somewhere else. But when I use my video, I try to have the space as clear as possible. But wires, I have to have all my wires. I can't take, I'm not going to take all my wires out take a video and then bring all the wires back in that makes no sense because i use wires you know i go from one i go from an hdmi cable i got my little switch box for evi so i'm switching back off to there i've got all the different power like we power uh behind there cube so again it's just you know if you want to fly around and do stuff you gotta have stuff ready to go you can't make it all nice nice for somebody to look at that would make that's not what i'm all about at all all right so that's it so that's my room Again, I call it my little gaming gaming room uh, time machine. Uh, and, you know, then that's where I work. I work out of that little space right there. That's all I got. You got to use what you got. You know what I mean? All right. Talk to you guys later.